All right, time for some background image images. I like to work from uh, back to front, so the backmost images first, and then I'll work my way forward. With that in mind, I'll choose the, let's look at the images here. Yeah, I'll choose the box sides images first, image first, because you know it's going to repeat down, and as a result, it will cover up everything else. So it needs to be in the back. So it is, what size is it? 759 by 9. So this is what I'm going to be adding to my body tag. So I need to create my CSS file. I've got my index.html. Oh, and in between making these two videos, by the way, I copied my normalize.css so that I could use it for this uh, midterm practice assignment. But I am going to right click on my assets folder and add a new folder called CSS. So now inside my assets folder, I've got a CSS folder. I will put normalize in there. Yes, please move it. I can see it's indented, so I know it's in the folder. And then I'm going to right click again and create a file called style.css. You might wonder why I always name it style.css. Um, I used to name it styles.css, and it doesn't really matter what you name it. You could name it frank.css if you want to. But this is what WordPress usually names them, and if you go into this business, you will probably be working with WordPress a lot. So I like to start there. All right, so I'm going to click on that document, the styles.css, and begin with my body tag, my body selector. Actually, let me do one more thing. This is just my Rachel's check. I'm going to add the H1 because I remember that that, that was going to be green. And I'll type color green. Save. And now let me come back over to my document and refresh. I'm going to right click on the index. Choose to open in default browser. And there it is, but it's not green. Can anyone tell me why? Do you guys know what I missed? An important step, I didn't link my style sheet. So let's get that taken care of. It goes between the two head tags. And it's a link tag. And the first thing we want to type is it's relative to style sheet. And then the href. And we are going to go inside the assets folder. We are going to go inside the CSS folder, and we'll choose the style.css that I built. But now that I'm here, I'm reminded I need to link that one too. So let's close this tag and do another link tag. Is it fun for you to watch me misspell things and be a terrible typist? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe you're in my same boat. Now I'm going to go back to Assets, back to CSS, and choose Normalize this time, and close that tag. Save, and now let's refresh this, and that's much better. So now let's see if we can get the, let's go back to Styles, and get the image here in the body tag. Background, I'm going to use the shortcut, shortcut tag here, URL. All right, I'm going to start with the background shortcut. Yep. And I got to get out of that folder first, right? Get out of my CSS folder first. There it is. Oh, I can go straight to images and box sides.css, gif. Woo! And no, re no, I do want to repeat. Repeat Y. Let's save, refresh. There's the sides. All right. Onward.